the more I dig into the Word, the more I understand how wonderful and how awesome this Word is. And it's like we can never comprehend the real depth and everything because this Word is going to take us to perfection. The Word is Spirit breathed and is from another level, speaking into our level to bring us to a level that we cannot reach by ourselves. <laughs> I just want to encourage you to throw yourself into the Word more and more and more and more. It's by eating this Word that we really come alive. Today's message is going to be so much to you. And I just said to my cameraman that I think maybe this is one of the most important sermons I've ever preached. I'm so excited about the Word. So please enjoy. Paul comes at the end of his life, <laughs> right at the end in Philippians 3. He says, my intention is to know him, to really know him. So Paul is really looking forward to having more and more of God. But in Philippians 3 verse 13, he says, brethren, I count not myself to have apprehended, but this one thing I do, forgetting those things which are behind, reaching forth, to those things which are before. Forgetting is not such an easy thing because your brain is a computer that stores up everything that you've ever done, ever seen. It's all there. So <laughs> this is why when you become a Christian, the biggest thing that you are faced with is to renew your mind because your spirit is already perfected but your mind is the problem and the mind is still in this fallen state of creation because the light has now shone in our hearts the same light that shone in the beginning is now shining in an earthen vessel and this earthen vessel is this body with a brain <laughs> and this brain just keeps storing everything and he has these patterns it's amazing when people are sick and they had pain that even pain has a memory and if you do not work on your mind how in the world do you forget the past he says we must not just forgetting the things which are behind we must also reach to the things that are ahead. Now, when we think of the past as a Christian, um, we often associate it with all the bad things that happened to us. But I remember my husband. We would have the most wonderful miracles in the service. And then he'd go to the next service and he said, that was, what does God want now? So the spirit is the now present and if we can get a hold of the now present, we can actually shape the future, which is not in our mind. So how wonderful is the mind of man that you can actually keep the past, the present and the future. But now to step into the spirit and to step into faith is to get rid of the past and reach out to the future. Now, to get rid of the past, it's not just the bad, it's the good too. Because for a year, I walked around and said, God, how do you even expect me to forget what's behind? I just had a good life. I do not know what's in front of me. How do I do this? Now, the key is to step into the present now. Paul writes to Corinthians and he says, while we look not at the things which are seen, but at the things which are unseen. For the things which are seen are temporal, but the things which are not seen are eternal. To step into faith, to step into the Spirit, is to step into things that we cannot see, yet they exist. So this is all, I would say, science. <music> 